This is News Talk 610 CKTV, Niagara's Place to Talk. 725 at 610 CKTB, and uh, here we are with uh, Good Friday, Earth Day, and uh, you're probably lying at home in bed right about now, relaxing a little bit, not having to get up and go to work, although there are a whole bunch of people at work this morning. I met a bunch of people in the coffee shop this morning who were up and going to work, and uh, the entire crew at all three of our radio stations are up and working this morning, and here's a guy who never stops working, because um, I guess the life of a photographer means you go where and when you have to go, um, and and Anybody who knows uh, good photography in this area knows the name Brian Caparici. Hello, Brian. Hi there, Tim. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Now, Brian has uh, shot to uh, the top of the photography world here in, in Niagara the last few And you're, you're at the tender age of what now, Brian? I am at the tender age of 23. Unbelievable, because I've seen your work, and it, it, it belies that age at an incredible maturity, and you've been doing a lot of successful work. You're based in Font Hill now, right? I am, yes, right on Highway 20. Now, you're working your way toward becoming a master photographer. Tell me what that means. That's right. Well, uh, I'm part of a professional association called the Professional Photographers of Canada, and through that you have the ability to submit images for competitions, to grow and to uh, to get accredited in different categories. Um, so one of the highest levels of achievement is to get your Master's of Photography through the PPOC. What do you have to do to do it? I mean, what, what gets you there, Brian? You have to be involved for a certain number of years. You have to uh, have won a certain number of image competitions. You have to have uh, been accredited in a certain number of categories. And you have to be very involved in the association uh, through giving seminars, through being involved with the executive, through helping out with the association, and then growing the association as well. There can't be a lot of people of your age who are, who are working toward that, can there? No, I, I mean, typically this is something that a photographer would achieve when they're in their 30s or 40s or 50s. Um, so I'm actually working towards being one of the youngest photographers in Canada to get the MPA. Well, we wanted to point that out to people because it's quite an amazing achievement that you're working on right now. Thank you. Hey, the other thing is that, and, and you mentioned this when you when you uh, dropped me a line a little while ago, is that um, you're doing a lot of boudoir photography these days. Yes, I am. And, and you know, there that seems to be, a, there's a growing interest in that. It's one of those things that, that people um, really find fascinating. It's, you know, a little on the risky side, I suppose. But, but then again, not. Um, tell me what, what, what that's all about. Well, but boudoir photography was, uh, I mean, it comes from the word bedroom, so it's typically something that a woman would do um, where they're getting some lingerie, they're getting to something nice and get some nice photographs done for their, their husband, their fiancé, their significant other uh, with a photographer in the bedroom. Um, so traditionally it was done uh, in a bedroom and we still do something very similar to that. Sometimes we do it in a studio, sometimes we do it in a bed and breakfast. Kind of whatever makes sense for the client. Nothing like lingerie at a bed and breakfast. That's right. <laughs> um, uh, any, no, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. Listen, um, do, do people find, do, do they find themselves a little um, apprehensive? Well, I mean, certainly it's, it's not something that you're going to be doing every day and that uh, you're going to be getting into your lingerie in front of a photographer. Um, but th that comes, um, uh, something that, that makes that really, really easy for clients is a good rapport with a photographer. So by having a good relationship with the photographer and, and having that kind, of, um, that kind of connection, it makes it a little bit more at ease. And you're finding people of all ages doing this now, right? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of our brides do it. We have a lot of younger uh, women do it. We have a lot of women that, that have been married for several years, have several children, still do it. As long as you don't end up with um, George from Seinfeld in one of those lingerie <laughs> shots, you know. Um, that pose always comes out one time or another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people must... Look, I've got this picture. I'd like to recreate this. That's right. Brian, where can people get a hold of you? Uh, they can email me. Uh, it's brian at bcapphoto.com. Or they can call me, 289-897-9523. And, uh, and they can find your work online? Yep, my website is www.bcapphoto.com. Sounds great. Thanks, Brian. Good to talk Thanks, to you. Tim. My pleasure. Brian Caparici, check that out. Does some incredible work. And uh, there's a little something different that you uh, may want for your your uh, special loved one's birthday celebrations, or any celebration for that matter, in the next little while.